Thick black sludge is everywhere at Dean Wilson's Broadwater home. It's less than 100 metres from the local sugar mill. I've been homeless for 10 weeks. I've been put up you know, in decent accommodation, so I'm not complaining about that, but I'm not home. Test results recently confirmed the contamination to be a mixture of oil and diesel, clearly seen swirling in the area at the height of the flood. We believe that the contamination sources were from multiple sources, including two large diesel tanks and also oil um, associated with the operation of a sugar mill. Just down the road, Glenn Costello and his family remain in limbo. They cleaned out their house before being told it was unsafe. He says the EPA conducted tests in his backyard. They should really have done under the house because if these fumes are going to be there or these toxins are going to be there for 30 years, as they say in the report, it, it's uh, not, a good, not a good thing. Residents are angry and want answers. They can't guarantee that it's going to be able to be made safe so that it can um, be safe to live in again. New South Wales Sugar says they're not going to comment on the potential cause of the toxic sludge. They're already dealing with a $40 million repair bill from the floods that have severely damaged their three mills. Part of our inquiries will be establishing whether the controls that were in place met the required standards of a one in a hundred year flood and my understanding is that uh, this flood far exceeded the one in a hundred year flood level uh, you know, to, a, to a great degree. I'd like to know um, who's responsible. It's just another blow for residents who have already suffered so much. Miranda Saunders, ABC News, Broadwater.